Hi again, so this is the uh, short video, the third in the series of uh, getting into digital. Uh, the first video was uh, an intro uh, to my setup and software and starting to get into Whisper. Uh, second was an overview of FT8 and this one is just to show automatic logging. Uh, I made a deliberate mistake in the second video, I forgot to fire up my logbook uh, when I made this QSO, so I've had to manually enter it because that's one thing uh, you need to do. Uh, in the setup I've got anyway, uh, is to make sure your logbook is running uh, uh, when uh, when WSJTX is, because if it isn't, uh, it doesn't automatically log. So I use another free bit of software, but as with many free bits of software, you can make donations, which I've done. Uh, Log4OM, uh, this is Log4OM2, the next generation version, uh, and I have this set up now um, to log automatically uh, from the Whisper software. Now, the snag I've got is um, I've got settings in here and I can't remember whether they were already populated or whether I uh, found them on the internet and typed them in. Um, so if you bear with me, in settings in program configuration, we have uh, something down here called connections. And in there, you can add, uh, you can see there, um, uh, inbound connections, uh, UDP connections, and this is where the uh, information is coming from, uh, from um, WSJTX. And you can see there, it's an ADIF message. ADIF is the uh, the data format of the file uh, on port 2333, 2333. Uh, and that is the setting uh, you need if you're using WSJTX and log4 or M2. And that's in the connection setting so you can take a, a snapshot of that so if i come out of there and show you uh, this is still running away uh, back in here file uh, settings uh, and down here uh, again udp server uh, that box has been ticked uh, the addresses i didn't type in so one of these systems has this ip address in already and there's the server port number again 2333 so either um, WSJTX or Log4M had that IP address but they're my settings uh, the key one being that 2333 um, and what that means is um, if I was to make another QSO uh, somebody strong say uh, that French station there and now we're calling CQ and see what happens. So here we are with the uh, call in progress. Uh, I called CQ. Uh, I got him first try. I paused the video in case I didn't. Uh, call signs and locators and signal reports exchanged. And you'll see the pop-up window again, which I've ticked as an option saying, get me to confirm. I want to log this as a QSO. So the window will pop up here in a second. And there we go, 73s, there it is, 5 watts, all the details, I click OK. And that QSO is over now. Now if I pop over to Log4OM, and look at my recent QSOs. Um, and there we have Fox4, Charlie Victor Alpha, FT8. And if I go into that QSO, edited um, there we go so Christian and there's the details that came across so you can see uh, instant automatic login there will be some other FT8 if I scroll down there some FT8 calls there uh, and they've all been uh, achieved via that automatic link from WSJTX to log4om so those two settings I showed you um, fairly simple setup uh, specific to uh, these two bits of software but I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, something similar on what you've got uh, hopefully you can uh, achieve the same as easily as I have there uh, and there's two um, uh, calls in the in the log now uh, a German station and a French station uh, so it seemed to be a good afternoon for, for FT8 uh, hope you enjoyed the video and found the series useful 
And one final thing, if you like ham radio, then you may like these other YouTube channels. I'll put the descriptions in the link below.